The Home Health Quality Improvement National Campaign welcomes you to race and ethnicity cardiovascular factors. In this video, we will talk about the specific risks for heart attack and stroke for people of different races and ethnic backgrounds. Heart disease is the leading cause of death for all Americans, and stroke is the fourth leading cause of death. If we take a look at race and ethnic backgrounds, we do find differences. Heart disease is the number one cause of death for African American, Hispanic, and white populations. Heart disease is the second leading cause of death for American Indian, Alaska Native, Asian, and Pacific Islander races. Cancer is the leading cause of death for those populations. Let's review the risk factors for a heart attack. They include individuals 65 years of age or older, men are at a higher risk than women, and a family history of heart disease. The following populations are at a higher risk of a heart attack. African American, Hispanic, American Indian, Native Hawaiian, and some Asian American. Other risk factors include high cholesterol level, high blood pressure, diabetes, tobacco use, alcohol abuse, physical inactivity, overweight or obesity, and eating an unhealthy diet. Risk factors for a stroke include women, individuals 55 years of age and older, a family history of a stroke, and the African American population. Having had a previous stroke, mini stroke, or heart attack, as well as a history of carotid artery disease, atrial fibrillation, or sickle cell disease are factors that increase the risk of stroke. High cholesterol levels, high blood pressure, diabetes, tobacco use, alcohol abuse, physical inactivity, overweight or obesity, and eating an unhealthy diet can also contribute to the risk for stroke. As you can see, certain races or ethnic populations are at higher risk for heart attacks and strokes, especially African American people. Why? There are many different known reasons, but there are some reasons still unknown. High blood pressure. Research studies show that African American people have the highest rate of high blood pressure in the world. Hypertension develops at a younger age in those who are African American than in other races or ethnic groups, and the blood pressure levels are higher. High blood pressure damages the heart and blood vessels even with no symptoms. Populations of all races and ethnic backgrounds may be walking around without knowing they have high blood pressure. The Hispanic population also has higher rates of high blood pressure, obesity, and strokes at younger ages than non-Hispanic whites. In fact, the studies show that Hispanic people are twice as likely to have an ischemic stroke caused by narrowing of the arteries before the age of 60 compared to people who are white. Obesity Overweight and obesity are risk factors for both heart attack and stroke. Determine your patient's BMI rates and explain if they classify as being overweight or obese. High rates are associated with cultural eating patterns and less active lifestyle. In most states, African American people have the highest rate of obesity, followed by Hispanic people, and then people who are white. Hispanic men have the highest obesity rate overall for men, and black women have the highest overall rate for women. Certain states in the South and Midwest have the highest rates in the country for obesity. So why are there higher obesity levels in certain races or ethnic populations? A possibility may be that each racial or ethnic group has different behaviors that can lead to weight gain. For example, preparing traditional or cultural foods in ways that increase calories such as frying instead of baking. Also, eating patterns that have been healthier in the past are changing for some cultures. Hispanic, American Indian, and Alaskan Native populations are examples. The culture of prepackaged and processed foods, fast food, eating out at restaurants, and larger portions are having a negative effect on the health of their communities. These poor habits are also leading to higher rates of obesity and diabetes. Obesity can be culturally normal where many people in the community are overweight. In other cultures, obesity is viewed very differently. For example, in the Asian community, most people are of a healthier weight range due to their healthier diet including fresh vegetables and proteins such as fish and chicken. Another reason for the rise in obesity levels is being unable to access and afford healthy foods. Many African American and Hispanic populations live in regions where there is a lack of fresh affordable fruits and vegetables. 
American Indian and Alaskan Native populations also have the same issue. If people live in poorer regions or rural regions of their communities, there may not be a grocery store nearby. Transportation to a grocery store may be difficult, and oftentimes only high-calorie processed foods are available at local dollar or convenience stores. In smaller stores, fresh fruits and vegetables are either not available or more expensive than processed foods. Physical activity. Lack of regular physical activity is a cardiovascular risk factor for all races and ethnic groups, although studies show that African American and Hispanic people are less active than people who are white. Studies also show that women tend to be less active than men. It is important to add some type of exercise or safe activity almost every day. Walking is a great exercise for people of all ages, and it will help with weight control. Assist patients with ideas about different ways to add daily activity to their routine. Diabetes American Indian populations have the highest rate of diabetes followed by African American and Hispanic populations who have twice the risk of diabetes than people who are white. People who are Asian American have a smaller but still higher rate of diabetes over people who are white. There is also a trend for high rates of newly diagnosed diabetes in the younger generations of all races and ethnic groups. It is important to teach patients that diabetes damages the heart and blood vessels as well as the need to prevent or manage their diabetes. Smoking Smoking tobacco is a risk factor for both heart attack and stroke. There are differences related to men and women in various races and ethnic groups. Among men, American Indian and Alaskan Native populations have the highest smoking rates followed very closely by white and then black men. Hispanic men are at risk next, followed by Asian men who have the lowest smoking rate. Among women, American Indian and Alaska Native populations have the highest rate for smoking. White women are next, followed by black women. The smoking culture for Hispanic and Asian women is very different. Hispanic women smoke about half as much as the Hispanic men and Asian women smoke about 75% less than Asian men. Thank you for watching this video, Race and Ethnicity Cardiovascular Risk Factors. We hope you've learned about some specific risks for heart attack and stroke for people of different races and ethnic backgrounds. The message we want to leave you with is that race or ethnic group does not have to increase your patient's risk for heart attack or stroke. Teach your patients their specific risk factors and what they can do to lower their risks. <laughs>